Holy Heretic is the third book in Fratoacha's Holy Demon trilogy published through Scarlet Imprint. And my goodness, this third book really does not disappoint. It's by far the largest of the three books. And it's beautifully produced, of course, by uh, Scarlet Imprint. Uh, they 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 are really masters at their craft. Um, uh, they, they never, ever disappoint. Um, uh, yeah, every single one of the books that they produce is a masterpiece. And yeah, this one is definitely no different. Just have a quick look at that lovely headband and, uh, and, and very nice um, uh, textured end papers before we tuck into the substance of this book right here, which is incredible. It's a book of two major parts. And uh, first of all, can I just say how much I love this table of contents, which actually gives some real depth into the description of each chapter. It really gives you a sense of, of what you're about to um, to, to dig into, you know, um, one or two words can give you, can, you know, just a, a little taste. But this really, really helps you to understand beforehand what you're getting into. So I, I do actually recommend um, uh, pausing uh, on those pages, uh, pausing the video and, and checking that out for yourself. I think that if you come out of that unaffected or unimpressed, then the book probably isn't for you, but I'd be very surprised. Okay, um, so the introduction is... <laughs> Let me tell you what the book is about. The book is about Frater Acher's um, uh, approaching the Christian mysteries from the perspective of someone who understands that Christianity has been so detrimental to Western magic in general. Uh, however, he also understands that without Western Christianity, um, uh, modern, the modern magic tradition would n not be what it is today. Um, uh, and, and he, he understands that we should not be throwing out the baby with the bathwater. Let's put it that way. Uh, which to me is incredibly refreshing. Um, it's certainly my perspective. Uh, although I also really sympathize with his, um, his, his point that it, it's a very, very, torturous path, you know, um, uh, and, and raises so much conflict. Um, you know, he writes here, I'm very aware that searching for such a path among the very people who for centuries tried to usurp, usurp, excuse me, and control the, uh, or deform and kill the Western magical tradition is a big ask. On such an expedition to find the narrow path will soon be crawling through the bones, bloods, blood and ashes of our ancestors. And yet at the same time, will also encounter beauty and genuine practice, true grace and deep spiritual power. And I think never a truer word, really, uh, because as we, we go through the book, um, uh, book one is all about the, the inner magic. And then book two is all about the outer magic. And, uh, you know, he actually says very early uh, that he realizes that many people will be tempted to skip straight through the first part, straight to the second part, where uh, well, it's all a, a lot more practical, right? Um, uh, the second part is about um, uh, the, the creation of bells for, uh, for calling uh, various spirits, particularly the Olympic spirits, uh, which are mentioned quite, uh, quite heavily, um, uh, the Olympic spirits of the Arbatel. Uh, but uh, but it goes much further than that. He's talking about uh, synthesizing the uh, the Olympic spirits and um, uh, and 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 you know and 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 he goes quite deep into what the point of the Olympic spirits are and so on and so forth, which is great. And I think it could be like a little uh, a little f uh, uh, preview of what to expect in uh, at least one of his upcoming books, if I understand correctly. Uh, but but the first part of the book for me was. Was, uh, I mean, the second part was was the really fun bit, but the first part of the book was the part w from which I've grown the most. Right, it's the the part from which I have derived the most the most value. Um, uh, uh, you know, I have many many books on practical magic. Um, uh, 
uh, but but books on uh, in a in a um, exploration um, uh, are particularly from a Christian perspective are very few and far between at least ones that I could trust right and and this one is uh, from the perspective of a practitioner who 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 understands Christianity probably much from a from a perspective that is quite different from the perspective of most Christians um uh, uh and I I I I, I appreciate that very, very deeply. Um, uh, so, yeah, he, he goes through the history of, uh, of, of Christianity, but not, not, not really of um, the, the, although he does touch upon, you know, the, 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 the Christian church, but he really looks at the Christian practice, right? That, that's really what he's interested in, Christian mysticism and what that's really pointing at. And so that takes him right back to the Desert Fathers, which is where he starts. And then he goes through a number of different sects and then points out, um, you know, just how the philosophy has has been formed and, and where it ultimately leads, which is also a really important um, uh, consideration, isn't it? So that's all really very, very incredibly exciting stuff. But uh, that's not all, because every chapter is then punctuated with exercises, and they are beautiful exercises, folks. These are really deeply affecting beautifully crafted exercises uh, created by someone who understands uh, the value of um of of uh, of of active practice you know of of ceremony and uh, and and of uh, and of initiation uh, you know of uh, of material initiation of the outer body um, uh, so that it can be in touch with the inner body uh, and uh, just <laughs> the, 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 the value <laughs> for your money here is just oh, through the roof. It's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's, uh, you know, I mean, I've already mentioned that this is two books in one, but then we get all the artwork by uh, Jose Gabriel Alegria Sabogal, you know, who once again is adorning Frater Acha's uh, work with his uh, his deeply effective um, uh, um, line art, you know, uh, etchings, um, uh, well, ink, ink uh, renditions of etch of of uh, that are reminiscent of etchings. Let's put it that way. I, I think they're so so beautiful, and uh, yeah, I, I I I couldn't say how many I've seen in here, but um, uh, there there are certainly a, a, a good few, you know. Certainly not a picture book uh, by any means, but uh, but yeah, just uh, just just wanted to point out um, that uh, that there are many many of um, uh, of of his uh, yeah some of his works which will be seen in the future as as possibly his most iconic, really really great stuff. Absolutely awesome, awesome stuff. So there we are, folks. This is my very short review of a very long book, <laughs> um, uh, but a, a, a book that I think should be taken, uh, I think you should take your time over it. I think that if you do decide to pick this one up, uh, it's a book that you should um, uh, just just meticulously go through page after page. There is so much uh, to be gleaned from these pages. There is... Um, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble thinking of much else that, uh, that, that really addresses these points in this way, um, uh, and in a way that is, uh, that is, um, how to say, um, Mm. <laughs> I'm missing the word that that that, that cares about the non-Christian, you know, because Fratarako realizes that the people who are reading his work are not necessarily Christian, although there are Christians there as well within his readership, naturally. But you know, he is writing for everyone here. He's not writing for Christians. He's trying to extricate the value from Christian mysticism so that everyone can um, can benefit from it. 
And I think that's a very, very beautiful thing. So thank you very, very much, Fatahaka, for your work here. This is uh, this is this is terrific stuff. The book is currently available as a hardcover. Uh, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure whether the soft cover is out yet or not. I'm so sorry. I haven't checked that before <laughs> before pressing the, um, the 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 record button. However, uh, I do know that the uh, the EPUB edition is also available. Uh, so if you would like to read this uh, off a, an electronic device, uh, then then that's an option as well. Uh, w- what I actually did was that when uh, I ordered this um, directly through Scarlet Imprint. Uh, they send the 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 EPUB uh, edition uh, as an email along with it as they're sending you the copy, which is fantastic. What I did is that I um, I uploaded it to my personal uh, Google Books account, right? So obviously not shared, uh, but to my personal Google Books account, and so uh, uh, Google Books will read <laughs> any book that is on on their um, on on their server. To you, right? So uh, it'll use the whatever uh, text-to-voice application it's got got to 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 read it out for you, which is awesome. So I've actually been able to listen to the to quite a lot of it, at least the first half of this, uh, uh, on my commutes <laughs> to take my son to school, which has been really very very cool. Uh, so so yeah, if you do order this, uh, if you have the opportunity to order it through uh, Amazon. Through Amazon, <laughs> what am I talking about? Directly through the, uh, uh, directly through uh, the the publisher through Scarlet Imprint, they'll also send you these really cool little ex libris um, uh, um, pages, right? Uh, that you can stick into the book if you wish, and and of course the, the naturally the Scarlet Imprint uh, bookmark. Uh, but uh, but yeah, that there's that that extra little um, bonus of getting the book as a as a. Uh, as an in an electronic format as well which is very very cool there we go go folks uh, thank you so much for watching the review today i hope it was of benefit to you and uh, yeah don't forget to uh, leave a comment down in the descri- down in the comment section of course and uh, uh, and leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and uh, yeah find uh, all the links to the book and where you can buy it down in the description. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye-bye.